Scientists and mental health professionals attribute experiences of alien abduction to various factors such as false memory syndrome, sleep paralysis, deception, and psychopathology. Skeptic Robert Schieffer compares some of the descriptions of aliens by abductees to science fiction characters, specifically those in the film Invaders from Mars. Many abduction claims involve forced medical exams with a focus on reproductive systems and warnings against environmental harm and nuclear weapons. The content of these narratives may vary based on the culture of the individual making the claim. Alien abduction is also often linked to political and apocalyptic beliefs. Such claims are most prevalent in English-speaking countries, particularly the United States, but have declined in popularity since their peak in the mid-1970s. Skeptic Michael Shermer believes the rise of camera phones has made it more difficult to make such claims, contributing to their decline in popularity. Mainstream scientists do not accept the idea that alien abductions occur as reported. However, many individuals who claim to have been abducted believe their experiences were real, regardless of their mental stability. Some experts, including John E. Mack, John Wilson, Rimmer Libo, and David Gottlieb, have found that while some claims were associated with psychopathology, many came from sane and average people. Abduction reports can be highly detailed and a subculture has emerged around the topic, complete with support groups and a detailed mythos regarding the aliens involved, such as greys, reptilians, and Nordics, and their motivations. Some abductees do not attempt to explain the phenomenon, but others take a personal interest in researching it. Some believe that a lack of widespread awareness of alien abductions is due to extraterrestrial or governmental cover-up efforts. The first well-known alien abduction case was the Brazilian Antonio Villas Boas incident in the mid-1950s, although it did not gain much attention until later. The Betty and Barney Hill abduction case of 1961 received widespread publicity, leading to a television movie about the event in 1975. The Hill case is considered the prototypical alien abduction and was the first time the abductee described the now famous phrase and claimed an extraterrestrial origin. These two cases are often seen as the earliest alien abductions, but skeptic Peter Rogerson notes they were only the first canonical cases, setting a template that later abductions and research would follow. According to Rogerson, reports of purported abductions date back to at least 1954 and the history of the phenomenon is more complex than previously thought. This view is in contrast to the folklorist Thomas E. Bullard's claim that the reported alien abductions of the 1970s and 1980s had little basis in folklore or fiction. Common themes are found in many alien abduction reports, according to various researchers. A person is considered an abductee by Cuffos if they were taken against their will by apparent non-human beings, taken to a place perceived to be extraterrestrial or a spaceship, and underwent an examination or communication with the beings, telepathic or otherwise. The memory of the experience may be conscious or recovered through hypnosis. Folklorist Thomas E. Bullard argues that there is a broad, consistent pattern in many alien abduction cases, making up what is known as the typical close encounter of the fourth kind. The following events are often reported, though not all abductions have all these elements. 1. Capture the abductee is taken from their terrestrial surroundings to an alien spaceship. 2. Examination and procedures, invasive physical and psychological procedures and, sometimes, simulated behavioral situations, training and testing, or sexual acts. 3. Conference, communication with the abductors, usually telepathic but sometimes verbal. 4. Tour, a tour of the abductor's spaceship, though some researchers dispute this. 5. Loss of time, abductees often forget most of their experience due to fear or medical intervention. 6. Return, the abductee is returned to Earth, sometimes in a different location or with new injuries or disheveled clothing. 7. Theophany, a profound sense of love, a high, or a mystical experience accompanied by a feeling of oneness with God, the universe, or the abductors may be the result of a metaphysical change, Stockholm Syndrome, or medical intervention. 8. Aftermath, 
the abductee must deal with the psychological, physical, and social effects of the experience. According to David M. Jacobs, the entire abduction experience is precisely orchestrated and all procedures are predetermined, with the beings being task-oriented and having no apparent aspect of life outside of performing abductions. Thank you for watching our video and if you truly enjoyed it, please hit the like, share, and subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell for notifications of our latest content.